Hello, this is uh, my laser setup, the one with detergent that I had in one of my previous videos. It's the same situation, except this time I've used Coumarin laser dye, real laser dye. Uh, same uh, little glass box made out of microscope slides. Uh, one cylinder shaped lens to focus the beam from the nitrogen laser into a line on the dye surface on the inside of that cell. And then you've got one uh, lens right here to collimate the output around lens. There's your nitrogen laser and there's your uh, uh, nitrogen bottle. By the way, if you want more information on how these little lasers are made, go to jaredkinsey.com. That's J-A-R-R-O-D-K-I-N-S-E-Y.com. That's my website, and I explain actually how to make these lasers on that site and can give you a lot more information than you probably care for me to go into on just a simple video. So anyway, um, this right here is a power supply, 4 kilovolt neon sign transformer, uh, AC, no rectifier. That simplifies things, especially with voltage spikes that normally kill expensive rectifiers if they're not uh, protected, well protected. But it's able to do this because you're firing the laser basically at 60 or 120 cycles per second. So you're, you know, you're charging and discharging. I don't really know how to, to, to put it in uh, proper terms, but you're basically charging and discharging uh, on each half cycle or on each cycle. But, uh, of course, the problem with it is 4 kilovolts doesn't allow much of a laser. So this is really underpowered. It's, uh, I've got... Um, spark gap spacing here of probably two or three millimeters and a channel of about a millimeter for the actual laser to take place so it doesn't permit much but let's go over here and try oh and uh, also there's a fog machine I've got one of these little fog machines that uh, I use to make smoke because without that your beam now I know that looks thick but it spreads out and then it just forms a, a nice uh, uh, even layer and kind of stay suspended in the air for quite some time. But these little smoke machines, you can get them at Walmart for about 20 bucks. They're really cheap. Um, they're good, but I had to get mine on Halloween. That's when they were selling them. Okay, okay, and then let's see. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to set the laser up and fire it. And what you're looking at is the setup right here. Um, I'll zoom in real quick. There's your cuvette and your, your lens. And I'm back, oh, I want to say about... Uh, maybe a meter and a half or so, a couple of meters from the uh, actual laser. And there's your gas tank. So what I'm going to do is got my smoke machine here set up. First I'm going to turn on the gas. You have to have a regulator for one of these or it'll uh, turn into a bottle rocket. You don't want that. Plus I've also put a lot of cotton in the line because that slows the gas flow down because even with this regulator um, the gas uh, still flows too fast. So I open my valve. Now you've got slow gas going across here. Got everything set up, but before I turn on the laser, got the laser on now, I'm gonna turn the lights off and I'm gonna put the camera on the night because the beam becomes much more visible that way. Just the frames are horrible. Actually, it's not half bad on day. Uh, there you go, right there. And of course, I'll put a piece of paper in the, the beam. And that's it in a nutshell. The only problem with putting it on night is the frames are so slow that the motion appears real jerky. But that's it. Um, there's your homemade dye laser, and turn that noisy thing off. But uh, keep in mind, you can make one of these things uh, with minimal effort. Uh, homemade nitrogen laser, uh, a dye, you don't have to have a real laser dye. You can uh, have one of these dyes be a, uh, uh, use common household supplies like uh, laundry detergents. But if you want to find out more about that, do visit my site, uh, jaredkinsey.com. And... Uh, you can email me. My email address is there as well, and I can answer any additional questions you have uh, to uh, teach you how to build one of these nice little uh, bad boys. So just visit me, and thank you for watching my video. 
And uh, one more thing, I do have a lot of pictures I can also share as well uh, if you need pictures of uh, more detailed pictures of uh, just the construction process, alternatives for power supplies, as well as, uh, like I've said before, the types of dyes you can use, different designs for the nitrogen laser itself, all, of course, based upon your budget uh, and just the uh, what's available to you, what you have available as far as uh, tools and uh, supplies. So thank you for watching and uh, visit my site and email me if you have any additional questions. Thank you.